the bottom fell out of my world. It was just, um, I couldn't comprehend what they were telling me. Because I felt like I was drowning and I felt like I couldn't find the words and I didn't know how to recover. I felt so helpless. The future we had planned was slipping away and there was nothing I could do about it. It was just a blur. I just couldn't take in that I'd be having my baby and that I wouldn't be taking my baby home. I couldn't understand. I cried a lot. I screamed. <laughs> um, and I remember screaming in the, in the nights after because you just want your baby. And the anguish that you can't hold your child. Even at 12 weeks, she was still my baby. Why this had happened, um, this wasn't in our plans. We'd already started buying things for our baby um, and planning for the future. We didn't ever talk about it. And the way of me handling it was very much, let's almost pretend it didn't happen to us. I remember just really racking my brain as to, to what was it that I have done that, that has caused this. I felt as though there was nobody else in the world, even those closest to me, that could possibly understand my pain at that time. So because you haven't told anybody and then you lose, it's just the most bizarre thing. It's like, well, what do I do now? Because I can't tell anybody that I've lost a baby that they didn't even know I was having. I was just lost in grief and I didn't know how to move on. Um, with life. I did spend a lot of time feeling very guilty, yeah. feeling like it was my fault, feeling like I was causing it and that I, I needed to rectify it. Every morning I'd wake up and remember that it wasn't a nightmare, that it really did happen and I'd cry. And this went on for days, weeks, in fact. Um, and I wondered if I would ever stop crying. Saying goodbye made me feel as though it was okay to grieve. It was okay for me to acknowledge the pain I was in because of our baby we'd lost. I needed to find peace with losing my baby. And that's what saying goodbye helped me, helped me do. We didn't know what hope would look like for us but saying goodbye started walking with us down that path. I felt I could share with others how I was feeling and that they just got it. The relief of knowing that the sound of my heart breaking was okay, that I was normal and that I wasn't alone was immense. When I found saying goodbye, it was incredible. The support was amazing and they were available 24 seven, understanding, reassuring, encouraging, telling me that how I was feeling was normal and was acceptable. It was okay to cry or to want to talk about my babies and what had happened. I needed to say goodbye to that biological process of trying and I needed to get myself uh, in a different place. And it was around about that point that I first came across a, a saying goodbye service. Yeah. We've never cried like we cried at that service about our baby and I've never felt so relieved to grieve as I have after that service. The thing that really, really moved me 
was um, the opportunity to ring a bell. And that was the first time that my children had had a voice. There was a noise, they existed. Mm -hmm. And like, I could hear that. Not only could I feel them and hear them, the other people that sat there heard that too. Absolutely. It was a very odd moment because it was very emotional, but at the same time, it was, it was joyful because I was actually, for once, able to celebrate the fact that they existed. At either side of us who knew exactly what we were going through, who were experiencing the same pain. Part of this as well, saying goodbye, is to break that taboo, to not hold it like it's a dirty secret, not to hold or feel ashamed of that, but to be honouring of that life, because that life did exist. And they made my baby feel important. It wasn't just a, just a miscarriage or... It wasn't just one of those things that happen that you don't talk about. It was, it was everything that, that me and my husband needed at that point, and I'm so thankful to them. Saying goodbye has helped us more than we could ever have imagined. What it will always be about is those people who were in that pain that we were in, where there is no light at the end of the tunnel and you don't know where to go for support and it's your darkest hour. It's when you're sobbing on the bathroom floor and you don't know how you're going to get up. That's what this organisation is about.